hi friends so in this uh, video what we would be looking at is a very generic requirement that we have of saving blobs what is blob blob uh, is a binary large objects uh, in in sql server database we what we save uh, is actually a normal uh, a, a data of ascii uh, type i mean uh, unicode ascii type now if we want to save data in binary format that is uh, let's say you have s uh, some files uh, there is uh, one excel file a uh, jpg uh, file of uh, picture and uh, an mp3 uh, song that i want to save into my sql server i mean there is some application which actually uh, uh, allows user to upload such files and saves it into my database at the same time it allows the user to uh, uh, i mean update that value i mean and then at the end maybe uh, also download such files from the existing database through some uh, web application how would this be done so uh, that is what we are looking at today so for uh, first uh, for this uh, demo uh, what i would be showing is uh, a simple table that i will create of uh, with the name of file warehouse so this is the table uh, Uh, what i uh, would be doing here is uh, okay so i have three uh, columns in this table uh, that is an id and an identity a value a file type file type is actually uh, your xls files uh, uh, that is your excel files or maybe your dot gpg files or your mp3 files and the actual file so if you notice the important thing to notice is the file type for the stored files is var binary and i have given var binary max you could uh, if uh, if the binary value of your file is going to be less than 800 8000 bytes you could actually mention that uh, if it is below you could actually mention that value but since uh, you expect a value of uh, any uh, length you can give it max by which any size of uh, the file can be saved into your uh, database so let's say uh, now uh, we will be inserting uh, a file of type xls x into our uh, uh, data in on this table currently this table is not having anything so now what we do is i go to my file and we would be saving three files one excel file a jpg file and a mp3 file so let me save this excel file with the help of open row sets uh, i mean this is a, a, a query from it for ad, ad hoc uh, data access with this open row set the command for uh, for saving uh, i mean uh, this file is uh, we'll be saving it in a single blob so with this command we can save this data into my table and yeah so that data if you look at the table is saved but uh, this is nothing but binary which uh, you is in the binary format the complete data is has been serialized I mean uh, broken into the binary format and then saved into my table next I will save uh, the picture I hope you all love this movie I'm a big fan of this movie I mean it was amazing so next we save this picture as well into our database done and lastly i would be saving a beautiful song from pink floyd into my database this will take some time because it's it's but yeah it did i mean the size of uh, the mp3 was how much uh, let's see 
it was it was kind of 19.7 uh, MB so that file is saved into my database now if I query I have the data oops uh, we just made one mistake so isn't it we made this mistake so I'm just updating this value and if now we are good so we have the three files stored into my database the next thing this is storing now how I retrieve it back so all these three files I would like to retrieve it back so for that for retrieving it, it back there are a few pre prerequisites I mean again I'll use T sequels only to retrieve it back and what I'll do is I'll retrieve it back and put it into my output folder okay so let's see how we can do for that first thing that you do is okay let me just check the space of my table good good impressive so now if I uh, first you check this configuration of your SQL server there is something uh, OLE automation procedures uh, since I'll be using OLE uh, connections so base uh, for retrieving the data you need that option to be enabled so just be careful and check that first and uh, uh, if you see this one I'm talking about so I have enabled it on my server but if it is not enabled on your server be uh, be careful uh, and enable that so to enable it you just uh, push sp underscore configure and put the name and say one so it will update your config value to one you do it like this but and then again reconfigure your server so this will uh, this is first thing the second thing is for retrieving it what I, uh, I as, as I said I'll be using the OLE uh, automation uh, procedures uh, now this is the complete code that you need to uh, uh, retrieve the data uh, let's uh, look at it uh, carefully so now uh, what uh, what we have here let's see this is uh, the object uh, object that we are creating oily object and this is the um, output path you can say okay let me just put it and this is your file path so your file path right so now what we uh, are trying to do is we are this is the stored file that we are retrieving so stored file from warehouse for one this is the jpg or maybe file type okay you can actually use file type is equal to g okay so now we have picture or dp jpg will be saved i should be calling it the actual file this is actually the file so now if i execute this set of statements what it, it is doing is uh, it is uh, we are pulling in the jpg file with this statement and putting it in the variable file which is of var binary type again var binary max and uh, the output path where we want to save the file with the name and then we are creating an 
ADO stream object which is of oily uh, automation one of the oily automation procedures uh, uh, its object so object token is the object now we uh, when the object is created we are opening methods uh, we are uh, we are uh, opening the method writing the file writing the value into the file and then pushing it writing the value of the file and then pushing it in the output path we are saving it in the output path and then closing closing the method and destroying the final objects this is all that is happening so if we go and execute this currently if you see sorry if you see there is nothing in the output now returning back I am executing this if I go and check I have the picture does that picture looks the same yeah it, it, it does okay <laughs> yeah it does so I pulled the picture from my database now I want to pull the rest of the two files as, as well so what is the I will be pulling out the mp3 file you can put a different name I'll just say run it will save with the value of I mean the file will be saved so okay let me see yeah I have the mp3 as well does it run or is it corrupted Yeah, it does. It sounds as beautiful as always. It's a beautiful song. Okay. Yeah, it does play. It does play. So my database is good. Next is I'm also pulling dot my Excel file. I'll name it one two three. I'm pulling back my excel file as well so I pulled all the three yeah it is it is what it was so I've pulled all the three files now from my database I have uh, stored and retrieved it back now my question uh, last thing is in this video is if I wish to up uh, I mean update update the file uh, how would you do it so where I mean file type is maybe a different pick for 1010 I will I want to upload a different picture so maybe this one the pulse this picture instead of the 1010 so I go ahead and so I will go ahead and update this value this is again the same command so I am just trying to update the value with the help of tsql so I have updated that in my table anyways I mean looking at the table I will hardly be able to identify so again let me just down download the value and see if that value is matches or not yeah if we look let me go in the output yeah it does the new pick with the name is that of the Pink Floyd's pulse so we are good so that was uh, a very simple uh, requirement I mean uh, I think in, in the uh, is, is implementing this on the website or the dotnet side you will have to create some uh, uh, some components and uh, then implement it but uh, in uh, using this in T SQL with T SQL is pretty simple I mean uh, for uploading you just have 
a very simple tsql command this will do the complete uploading of your file you just have to feed the path to this uh, uh, tsql and uh, it's it's done for you so, and uh, for uh, i have showed you uh, to uh, uh, upload a file and then get it back download it as well with the help of oily automation procedures and then also to up update the file which has been uploaded so that was uh, it friends it is uh, it's really uh, really good to share these informations uh, uh, with all uh, with all of you hope it is really useful to you thank you